of protecting Hello, everybody, and welcome to Inside Politics. I'm John King in Washington. Law. You're watching a fiery so speech on the floor of the House of Representatives. That is Democratic admit, Representative Ilhan Omar of Minnesota. The House is about to vote to, to kick her to off the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congress she is speaking right now saying, yes, she's a Muslim. Yes, she's a refugee. Yes, she has said some controversial things, but she says she's a proud American and her views should be considered by Republicans and Democrats alike. Let's listen. And my leadership will be celebrated around the world as it has been. So take your vote or not. I am here to stay and I am here to be a voice against harms around the world and advocate for a better world. I yield back. Again, Ilhan Omar speaking, a fiery address, a defiant speech on the floor of the House of Representatives. The Republican-led House is about to vote to kick her off the House Foreign Affairs Committee. She says it is retribution. She says it is unfair. She says it is un-American. But she says it is no surprise to her tracing Donald Trump's support of the birther movement, the Republicans who said Barack Obama as president was secretly a Muslim. Let's get to our chief congressional correspondent, Mano Raju. Mano, this vote, you just heard the defiance from Congressman Omar, the vote that will take place in moments, is a key test of the new speaker, Kevin McCarthy. He has a very narrow majority, and many of his members are a little squishy about this. Yeah, no question about it. He can only lose four Republican votes in order to allow this this uh, to succeed, to kick her off of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And he has been moving behind the scenes over the last several days to shore up concerns, concerns about this tit for tat that has occurred after Democrats moved two Republicans off of their committee assignments last Congress, McCarthy vowing some retribution of sorts for Ilhan Omar ever since that happened here. And a lot of Republicans agreeing with them, but some concerned about it. But behind the scenes, McCarthy has has locked up the votes. He has indicated that he has made sure that his members are in line. Just moments ago, Congresswoman Nancy Mace, who is one who had said that she would oppose this because of her concern about the precedent this would set by setting, kicking off another member of the committee, expanding the precedent from the last Congress. She said she's actually going to vote for this because she got an agreement from the Speaker to figure out a new process going forward to allow members to appeal any effort to try to kick them off of the committee. There's going to be some language change to the resolution here, and that's one reason why. And there's Congressman George Santos here. M Mr. Santos, can you explain, uh, did you uh, set up a fake GoFundMe account to try to defraud and cheat a veteran out of $3,000? So can you explain if that happened? Mr. Santos, why does he have text messages? Why does he have text messages saying that you set up this fake GoFundMe account? Mr. Santos, you're facing a federal investigation here. This is very serious. Can you explain? to your voters and your constituents what happened with this, with this veteran, the, con the conversations that you had with him? Mr. Santos, Mr. Santos, you have a chance now to clear up the fabrications from your career. You uh, made up where you worked from Citigroup, Goldman Sachs. Why did you make up those? Uh, why did you make that up, sir? Can you explain that to voters here? Are you going to resign? Is there any, would it be, wouldn't it be better for your voters if you resigned your seat in, in Congress, sir? Mr. Santos? So as you can see, John, we're, we're covering various issues here at the same time. One, Ilhan Omar, as we're talking about here, one serious issue. Another one, George Santos, the congressman from New York, the Republican who is uh, embattled, of course, facing numerous uh, investigations, a federal investigation, one of which uh, that we learned about yesterday to look into uh, allegedly setting up a GoFundMe account, a fake GoFundMe account, and scamming a homeless veteran out of money, $3,000 or so. That's an investigation that appears to be happening out of New York. Tried to ask him about that, if he actually did that. Not, of course, not answering that question or about all the other fabrications from his life. So, John, that's one issue. The other issue about to happen here on the House floor, the House about to vote to kick off Ilhan Omar from the House Foreign Affairs Committee. There is a, a belief among the Republican leadership they will have the votes to do just that here, as many things are happening here, developing at the same time here, John. Uh, I'll kind of come back to that in just a moment. Uh, to the news part of it, uh, connect the dots for me here. One of the reasons Kevin McCarthy, the Speaker, has stood by George Santos so far is because in that vote that's about to happen, guess what? Kevin McCarthy needs George Santos's vote, correct? 
Yeah, he does. In fact, that's one big reason why he has not called on him to resign. Now, uh, McCarthy did tell us yesterday when he came back from the White House that he has, quote, new questions about Santos. And that is one reason why he supports the decision of Santos to get off of those two House committees that he had made that voluntary decision to step aside there. But McCarthy would not say what those new questions were, whether they're about his campaign finances, which, of course, appears to be part of this investigation into him going forward. But uh, McCarthy has so far not called on him to resign, even though we've heard Republican after Republican back home, New York Republicans, including some in the delegation here in the House, asking for his ouster. McCarthy's still not going that far, not just because he needs the votes for Ilhan Omar or even to get elected speaker, but also, John, as you know, if he stepped aside, that would be problematic, could flip, that district could flip to be Democratic, and the tightening McCarthy's already very narrow majority.